So the Ottawa Senators are losing a first round draft pick because of a trade gone wrong. And it's got me thinking, what's the NHL really doing here? Now, if you don't know why the Senators are getting punished, let, let me explain. Two years ago, in July 2021, the Senators traded Dud Donov to the Vegas Golden Knights. Seems like a regular trade, right? Well, not quite. Turns out the Sens forgot to mention Dud Donov's 10-team no-trade clause to the Golden Knights. Fast forward to the 2022 NHL trade deadline and things get even messier. Vegas trades Dud Donov and a second round pick to the Anaheim Ducks for a defenseman and Ryan Kessler's contract. Sounds like a typical deadline move, right? Wrong, the NHL steps in and cancels the trade because surprise, it violated Dud Donov's no trade clause. He had Anaheim on his 10 team list. So now the Senators' punishment is for fighting a first round draft pick in 2024, 2025, or 2026. Tough luck for a mistake that happened two years ago. What really grinds my gears though is the huge difference in how the NHL handles situations. So let's talk about the Chicago Blackhawks. They had a whole sex scandal, a serious issue, and all they got was an apology. No draft picks were forfeited, no significant consequences, and what's their consolation prize? A generational player. I mean, come on NHL, where's the consistency in handing out punishments? A team messes up a trade and they lose a first round pick. Another team faces a serious scandal and they get a slap on the wrist. It just feels like the league is playing favorites here. The Senators are probably scrambling right now deciding which year they want to sacrifice their first round pick. It's a tough spot for the organization and its fans, and sure, mistakes happen. But when you compare it to other issues around the league, it leaves you wondering what's the NHL actually doing. Alright, that's it for today's rant. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's hope the NHL figures out how to hand out punishments that actually make sense. Peace!